he was kind of like flirting with my grandma and it was super weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emmeline Rose and I would really like it if you guys would hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I post a lot of Disney content on here, so if you're a Disney lover, then I think you'll like my videos, so subscribe. So today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite Disney World character meet and greet experiences that I've had the five times that I've been to Disney. I've been to Disney when I was four, eight, 11, 18, and 19. So if you're interested in finding out which character meet and greets have been my favorites, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with from the beginning from when I was four all the way up until recently when I was 19. If you guys didn't see those Disney vlogs, I will have those linked down below for you guys in the description box so you can go and check them out because I did vlog the last time I went to Disney. So the first meet and greet experience that I want to talk about, and it is the only one that I remember from when I was four, um, is when I met Cinderella for the first time. There is a much longer story to how this happened. If you guys are interested in that story, I will have my Disney tag video linked down below where I do talk about that story. But long story short, I wanted to meet Mickey Mouse this whole time I was at Disney. Well, every time I went to go and meet him, the line would always get cut off in front of me because he had to go on his break or he had to go somewhere else in the park. Um, so I just was not striking any luck with meeting Mickey Mouse this trip. So finally, the last time um, they cut us off, my dad had a meltdown. And then Disney told us that they would take me and my family, which we had like about 20 plus members of the family there for that vacation. They were going to take us backstage into Cinderella's castle behind um, where the characters go out when they are doing the show on Cinderella's castle and we can meet whatever characters that we wanted, including Mickey Mouse. Little four-year-old me got to meet Cinderella and Fairy Godmother for the first time ever. Um, Cinderella was my childhood hero. She still probably is my childhood hero. Um, so it was just amazing getting to meet her. Um, I, I don't quite remember everything I said. I probably just told her that I loved her and she was my favorite princess and stuff and all that jazz. I don't really know. Uh, here's the picture of me and Cinderella, my very first time. I'm, I'm just in awe. So I don't really remember much from that meet and greet experience, but all I do remember is just feeling so, so, so happy to meet Cinderella. And I, um, also did get to meet Mickey Mouse and I was not very thrilled. I do remember that because I wanted to stay with Cinderella and Fairy Godmother, but I wasn't able to. That's the first character meet and greet experience that is my one of my favorites. It's pretty much the only one that I remember from that trip because I was four. I don't really remember much. Next is when I went when I was eight. Again, I don't quite really remember a lot of experiences. Um, I do remember meeting Cinderella, um, Sleeping Beauty or Aurora and Belle in the Princess Fairy Tale Hall or whatever they called it back then. I do remember meeting them. I don't really remember much about them. And I do remember meeting Frozone and Remy, um, Frozone from The Incredibles and then Remy from Ratatouille. I do remember meeting them and I remember thinking that their signatures were pretty cool because they were stamps because they can't sign real autographs with their costume on. I don't have any pictures from that because they are at my home. Um, back in mass, I'm at college if you guys didn't know that. So I don't really remember much from there, but those are the like five that stick out to me. The next few meet and greet experiences um, that were my favorites from the trip when I went when I was 11. This is when I went for dance. And these pictures are all from the um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, I believe it's called. Um, the day that we went and did this, I had filmed for the Disney Christmas Day Parade. Um, if you guys would like a story time of the time that I did get to go to Disney and dance in the parade, I would gladly do a story time about that, so just let me know in the comments down below, um, because it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I think a lot of people would be interested in finding out how it happened and stuff like that. So anyway, um... So this day we filmed and we were up for at like four or five in the morning um, getting hair and makeup done, doing rehearsals and stuff, and then filming. Um, so it was a very long morning. So I remember going back to the hotel after that, napping, and then we came back for the Very Merry Christmas party. And the first character meet and greet experience that I'm going to talk about is when I met Tigger and Eeyore. So I remember, I really remember this. So in the picture, um, here's the picture of me and my mom with Tigger and Eeyore. 
And then I don't know where my grandma is. I, she might have taken the picture. My grandma was there too. I don't really know where she was in this picture. But anyway, um, so you can see that I'm wearing these Mickey antenna ear thingies. I don't, I don't really know. I, I wish I could go back and pick out some actual mini ears, but anyway there's us and when we went up to go and meet them tigger was very interested in my ears he kind of went up to me and then he was kind of like bonking them around and stuff like that here's a picture um that whoever took the picture took of him kind of like playing with my ears and then he was kind of hopping around and stuff and it was super funny you can tell that i'm laughing hysterically in this picture so is my mom um i'm looking at the pictures by the way on my phone um because i was able to find these on facebook Apparently there's a Sims update and I just got updated. Cool. Anyway, so yeah, so that was super fun. That's really funny. It's something that I really remember. And then next is when I met Vaughn and Rosetta, two of the fairies from the Tinkerbell movies, if you guys are familiar with those movies. And here's the picture of us together. And in this second picture, you can see that, um, Rosette is kind of like laughing and stuff and that is because um, Fawn is the fairy that is like with the animals and whatever like she has that animal vibe and Rosetta is obviously with the flowers she's a floral fairy and so they were looking at my outfit and they were like talking about my ears and then they were trying to like describe what animals or something that I looked like and Rosetta said that I looked like a platypus because I was wearing a plaid sweater jacket whatever you want to call it and she thought that was the funniest thing and I thought it was pretty funny too so did Fawn they were both laughing so yeah they called me a platypus um super funny super memorable and the last experience that is memorable from this trip is when I met Anastasia, Drizella, and Lady Tremaine from Cinderella so this is another one where they kind of had a um had a comment about my outfit. I probably told them that Cinderella was my favorite princess or whatever and they were probably not happy with that. Um, and I remember they were kind of looking at my outfit and judging it and they said I looked like an alien because of my Mickey antennas. That was super funny. At the time I didn't know you could meet them so it was pretty cool getting to meet them. I was honestly super shocked. Of course I'm going to meet anybody from Cinderella whether it's the villain or not. Any movie I'm going to go and meet the villain if I have the opportunity because it's just super cool. They called me an alien and I'm pretty sure they mocked my outfit but I mean their outfits aren't the best either honey. Like come on. <laughs> But yeah, so that was a funny experience, um, and it was just super cool because I didn't know that you could meet them at the time. Um, and here's another picture of us together. So now I'm going to move on from when I went when I was 18. Um, I went to Disney during this time after I graduated high school. This was actually a retirement gift to my grandma um, because she also retired the same year I graduated. So me, her, and my mom, we got to go on this trip. Hmm. And one of the first memorable experiences that I had was meeting, where is it? Of course, Cinderella. I'm trying to find pictures and stuff so I can remember. Um, so of course, meeting Cinderella, again, love her. I've probably met Cinderella every single time I've been to Disney. But um, when, I, when we went, we all got celebration pins. So mine said, I'm celebrating graduation. Grandma said that she's re celebrating retirement. And my mom said that she was celebrating vacation because she didn't have anything else to celebrate and she wanted a pin. So a lot of my interactions during this trip were kind of like celebration wise. Um, so Cinderella, she congratulated me on my graduation and stuff. And then we talked about how fairy godmother had lost her wand and she thinks that Jacques and Gus Gus might have stolen it. So she told me that if I see them around the park or the kingdom um, to let them know to go and give it back to fairy godmother. Um, next is Elena. Um, I had never met Elena before. I've never seen her show or anything because it is a Disney kids show. Um, most Disney things are for kids though, but you know what I'm saying. It's a Disney Junior show. I'm not going to go and sit down and watch it like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or anything. So now, um, so I was a little nervous about like meeting her. I just didn't really know how it would go. And she, like we had a pretty good conversation. She was, again, 
we were going off of the conversation of my graduation and how I was going to celebrate and we talked about like chocolate cake and chocolate and stuff and all that stuff and she said that she sometimes likes to hide chocolate um, from her grandmother and stuff like that and snack on it because chocolate's her favorite but she's not always allowed to eat chocolate. Next is Fairy Godmother. This is the second time I had met Fairy Godmother, but for some reason I was unaware that you could meet her in the parks. So, like, now that I think about it, I know you can meet her in the parks, but it just didn't really come to my brain. So when I saw her, I was, again, very excited. And again, I don't really quite remember much from this meet and greet experience, but I do remember she was like congratulating me about my graduation and just kind of giving me words of wisdom. I had also met like Mickey and Minnie. I met um, Russell from Up. That was pretty cute. Um, I met Snow White, Jasmine, actually, next one is Jasmine, because this experience, but anyway, I met, like, Joy and Sadness, Belle, I met a lot of characters, Anna and Elsa, I met a lot of characters during this trip, um, but I could go on about every single meet and greet experience that I did have, but I'm just doing the memorable ones, some of my favorites, so, next is Jasmine, um, so I met her. And my mom and grandma, they went to go sit in the shade and stuff because we had to like wait outside for a little bit and stuff. And it was super hot because we had went in July, end of July, early August. So me and her, we kind of talked about my graduation again. And um, she asked me like, oh, what are you doing now? Like what's next in your journey? And I told her that I was going to college to be a teacher. And so we kind of had a little conversation about teachers and stuff, and she told me to look out for the, like, look over those little monkeys and stuff, and um, she told me that Abu can kind of be a troublemaker sometimes, and it's kind of hard to teach him things and some of the other monkeys and stuff, so she told me to kind of keep an eye out for those monkeys, because they're, they're troublemakers. And last, but not least, this is probably one of my all-time favorite character meet and greet experiences, and that is... Gaston. I made it my mission to meet Gaston during this trip. Once I found out that you could meet him over near um, Gaston's tavern, I was like, I have to go and meet him. So, went up to him and he was like, graduation. Like, you went to school? Like, girls don't go to school. Like, they, they don't, they can't go to school. And he's like, what did you even learn in school? And I was like, I learned how to read and write and do math and science and all that stuff. And I was like, I also went to a school where I learned how to be a hairdresser. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a cosmetologist. So I went to school to be a hairdresser. I was like, I could do your hair or your makeup or something sometime maybe. And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like my hair, beautiful. I don't need it done. Makeup, I don't need makeup because I'm perfect. Like basically just saying that how he's perfect he is. And he was just judging me for going to school. Then he kind of talked to my mom a little bit like, oh, you're on vacation. Like, good. <laughs> and then my grandma so she has her retirement thing and he's like oh finally retirement for you like it must have been awful all those years of working and stuff and he was kind of like flirting with my grandma and it was super weird but it was super funny like he is hysterical to meet if you ever get the opportunity to go and meet Gaston do it because you just never know what you're gonna get from him and here's the picture of me and Gaston it, this guy, he, the, the guest on, that's all I can say. He's super funny, like, highly recommend going to meet him. And now I'm going to talk about my favorite meet and greet experiences that I had on this last current trip to Disney. Again, we met quite a few characters. Um, one, just a little quick one, I met Olaf. That was the first time I'd ever met Olaf, and he does give the best warm hug. Um, next is Snow White. And this is where I met her when I met her at the Akershaw um, Princess Storybook Restaurant, or I forget exactly what it's called, but it's one of the character meet and greet experiences for dining in Epcot. And when we met her, she came up to the table and was like, oh, like, how's your journey and stuff like that? Like, how's it going in the land? And asking us some questions and stuff. And then when we were done talking to her, she was like, oh, maybe one day me, like, we can go and um, travel in the forest together and stuff and explore with all the animals um, and the seven dwarfs. And it was just super cute. Next is, of course, Cinderella. I met her twice. Um, and... 
you know, we just went up to her and we kind of had just a little chat with her. Um, and then I got my picture alone with her because she's just my favorite. And I told her that she was my favorite princess. Um, and she was like, oh, thank you so much and stuff. And when we did walk up to her the first time, she said to me, she was like, oh, we're matching and stuff because, you know, she wears the black collar. And that day I was wearing one of my new Disney sweaters and I had a black t-shirt underneath of one of the DIY t-shirts that I had made for the trip. So it was kind of peeking through so it kind of looked like that. I also had a collar so that was pretty cool. Me and her are like basically best friends. <laughs> and the last character meet and greet experience that I'm going to be talking about is Rapunzel. Rapunzel is always super fun to meet. She's super funny and so when we met her this time she was asking like where, what kingdom we were from and we were like oh we're from massachusetts um my grandma lives in vermont so she said she's from vermont and she was like oh like i've been hearing that you guys are going to be getting a big snowstorm soon um and it was true like that weekend when we were getting back there's supposed to be a big snowstorm um we were like yeah like we're not really looking forward to that like it's so warm here um and stuff and she was like yeah she was like but i have an idea for a olympic sport i think it's called she was like is that what it's called the olympics so i was just introduced to it today and so we were like yeah yeah so she's like okay so i have this idea that you take two frying pans and you put them on your feet and then you go down a mountain and you slide on them. She's like, I'm not really sure how you're going to stop. I haven't really thought that through yet, but I think it's a really good idea. Me and Pascal came up with it and just going on about her Olympic sport that she came and she was like, do you think it'll catch on? We were like, yeah, totally. Like, I would try it. Very funny, memorable meet and greet experience. So that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to see more Disney themed videos from me. Leave a comment down below who your favorite character to meet is at Disney. Mine is probably either Cinderella, of course, Gaston, or I really like meeting Rapunzel. She has some very entertaining stories. So I would really like to know who you guys like to meet. Um, feel free to follow me on social media. I will have those linked down below for you guys in the description box. And if you didn't know, I started a blog. I will also have that link down below in the description box. It'll always be there with my social media and stuff. And if you guys missed out on the video of me talking about why I created a blog and what it's going to be about, I will have that linked up there and down below in the description box so you guys can check it out. And I think that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.